Many thanks for staying with us and welcome back to The Morning Show here on Arise News. It's time now to review headlines of today's newspapers. All right, Steve. and we uh, take it off as always with this day on Saturday. Um, uh, it's a loaded cover, it is. you know, and very strong in political matters. Like many of the papers today, you know, politics We're is going to see quite there. a bit of that. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, so the lead story says, the headline, don't present Muslim running mates. Can Northern Christian elders want Tinobu article? It's a threat to fragile peace, unity of Nigeria. Babachi, Nigerians conscious of ethno-religious factors in politics. El Rufai, competence vital for running mate, not religion. Oshibajo promises to support Tinobu. I mean, this, this, is, this is one of the issues that we have raised, you know, earlier in the program. And I think that it will be one of the talking points uh, till the elections. Um, interestingly, before this, by the time that the candidates will submit, the parties will submit the names of their candidate, uh, I believe that it will, it will have to go with the names of the running mates. That's when we will know if truly uh, what can and the Northern Christian Elders Forum are saying yeah. will make a lot of sense. But it looks to me like um, uh, the camp of Ashwa Jews' mind uh, is made up as to, for him to get elected, he will need the total support of Obviously. the North. Yeah. And the North is not likely, as they say, to present a Christian candidate. And therefore, uh, the burden is a lot more on Ashwa Jew than on Atiku. Because Atiku of PDP will choose as running mate from the South. Yeah. Uh, there are permutations that he might pick from the south south or from the southeast. He picks Peter B the other time. So it's almost a given that if, if he picks from either of the two zones, it will be a Christian. And all the names that we have had so far uh, from Governor Yesomwike of Rivers, from mm -hmm. Governor Kowa of Delta, from uh, Governor uh, Udom Emanuel of Akwaibom, they are Christian. Even those who are flying the kite of Ngozi Okunjo Iwela, mm -hmm. Uh, she's also a Christian and a woman, but we'll see what they do. But for the APC, uh, we'll see what is happening. A lot of people do might say to Governor of Cardinal State, uh, Erufai, that is this altruistic? Are you saying this because you are so interested, you know, in becoming? Because it looks like from the body language of Ashwaju, that he probably might pick one of the governors uh, as his running mate. If you therefore pick from the north, uh, out of 19 governors and the north, only two, you know, are Christians, and he will probably pick from either the Northwest or, or the Northeast, a, Christ, a, a Muslim ticket. And Erufai already runs that. He has a Muslim running mate. So he can tell you that it is not a big deal. You know, it is competence that we should look at. And the argument in favor of that in the Southwest is that Southwest people are very liberal. They are not so fussy about religion. And that if Abiola could do it in, in 29 years ago, who says uh, that that can be done now. It's neither but are we there. ready for that? Let's look at the Nigeria we live in today. Could a Muslim Muslim ticket really be sold? Well, um, it worked 29 years ago with MQ Abiola. But and many would say that was 29 years ago. That's correct. But then uh, here in, in 2015, 2019, Erufa is running a Muslim Muslim ticket in Kaduna State. Um, I think that the major problem would not come from the Southwest. There will be few concerns, there will be few issues raised, but I think that if, if Fogis are here to pick a Northern Muslim as his running mate, Ashwaji will get away with it. How will that affect the vote? Um, Pital B already you know, has most of the Christian votes in yeah. the South East, South South. You know? So the battle really will be in the North. I do not think that Ashwaji needs religion to, to, to campaign in the southwest. But we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. All right, on top of the, the lead story, uh, alleged $50 million fraud, fraud sale of assets, Wiki orders trial of Amichi Cole, aims to make APC Guba candidate unelectable. In retaliation, APC nudges PDP's flag bearer with EFCC. You know, <laughs> Rivers. It gets really <laughs> interesting. Too. Rivers of drama. River State is always, you know, very dramatic. And this is this boils down to uh, the struggle, you know, the, alter, the, the, the perpetual altercation between uh, uh, two former allies and friends, and now, you know, sworn enemies. Uh, Governor Jason Wiki and uh, Rutimi Amechi. Uh, you recall, of course, that uh, Wiki had. Um, 
He had starts the other time when he got the note of the court yeah. to say that uh, you can proceed with the um, uh, report that's indicted, that you know, reportedly indicted uh, former Governor Rutimi Amechi on the $50 million fraud sale. Interestingly, the gentleman that has been uh, tried in court with him is the gubernatorial candidate of the APC. You know, and, and like the this day story says, APC is trying to retaliate because the gubernatorial candidate of the PDP, the, the, the former um, accountant general of the state, also has the FCC issues. What a twist we'll of see. <laughs> We will see how that goes. On top of the masthead, uh, the strip there says, after failed presidential bids, APC gives Akpabiu Kumai senatorial ticket. That is a story on page 14 of this day. Uh, they are out of the presidential rate, but it looks like uh, they'll be going to the Senate now. Interesting development, but then again, that's politics. People invest yes. in politics for different reasons, and self-interest is always number one. It's number one, which is quite concerning. On the window, it is indeed. On the window, Akari Dolu, federal government's conclusion that ISWAP attacked Owo too hasty, says ISWAP fighters don't hide their attacks. Police... We are yet to arrest any of the assailants. I mean, we discussed this already uh, during the week that was, and I think that, again, Akiri uh, is right in insisting that carry out investigation first before you conclude. And last but not the least, Undo court sentences three to death for killing Fashionati's daughter. That story is on page six. Uh, three years after, since 2019, uh, when the, the daughter of uh, Afeni Ferry leader Fashionati, 50 Two, I think she was then, uh, a 58-year-old woman, shot down. Uh, now three of them uh, have been sentenced. I think one uh, is from Kogi, another one from Adamawa, and the other one from Sokoto State. The fourth suspect was discharged and acquitted. So let's hope that justice finally will be served yeah. on uh, Power Fashion Artist's daughter. Absolutely. Shall we do the Guardian yes, quickly? Yes, let's do the Abby? Guardian. Yeah. What we have, of course, as we uh, spoke about earlier, we're going to have this all over. So 2023 presidency mm. sparks rush in voter registration. And this is probably a conversation we should have to see uh, what is the situation with voter apathy <laughs> this time around? Are yeah. we seeing less of it? based on the candidates that, we, that we're beginning to see present for the different parties so far. Mm. And, and of course, I, you know, I, yeah. gauge the temperature there. Like, how, right. what's the response no, I, to I it I think so we will far? have more uh, eligible voters uh, this time around, given the enthusiasm, uh, especially of the young lads, in registering. But then uh, to register and collect your PVC is one thing. No. The main story is to come out on election day and vote, whether it's raining, whether... Uh, there was party overnight, whether that was a football match that was important, the important thing would be to come out. And if you look at statistics, we have never reached uh, up to 40% of um, uh, eligible voters actually coming out to vote. Do you think that will better. be different this time around? I want to believe that it might be slightly different. Yeah. Uh, the only challenge will be those who will worry about the fact that it's the same old political class, it's the same old, you know, uh, uh, you know, older people, the same, same faces, names, same names you know, being recycled, and that's a sentiment that, is, of course, has been across social media yeah. uh, from, from the youth yeah. uh, in terms of look. I grew up hearing these names, and here we are again <laughs> yeah, going to line again. up for them, you know. So, and they're no longer military, you know, people from Kaki turning into Agbada. It's, you know, people who have been wearing Agbada for years, who have been senators, who have been in House of Reps, who have been governors, you know, now. Yeah. Uh, because my point has always been that if you say, go collect your PVC, go collect, it's not just about PVC. PVC has nothing to do in selecting the candidates. If you're not part of the machinery from party level, you'll be left with little choices as to who you need to vote for, which is where the danger is. If uh, three, four, or five of the leading candidates from the big parties are not those that you will have wanted already. People then, will basically sleep exactly, at home. Exactly, because say, it's, it's what a are question we doing? of what am I, why what, do I bother? Was, was the PVC yeah. But of course, that's not do. the message we are trying to reinforce. Yeah. We, of course, are um, wanting for people to go get their PVCs. Okay. And hopefully, we uh, see, you know, <laughs> we'll see. someone of choice out there. Before okay. we, we, let's just go very quickly. Christians yeah. warn against politics of religion, disunity. disunity. Of course, we spoke about this earlier, yeah. just about ethno-religious sensibilities. Um, denying South East PDP APC presidential tickets, mm. another case of marginalization 
group insists. Yeah. Uh, we just spoke about the killers of Afeni Ferry's leader's daughter to yeah. die by hanging. I didn't, this I didn't know that that was the... Yes, that's, that's the conviction actually. Oh. They, you know, they were sentenced to that, but I don't know if they will have the opportunity to, 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 to appeal it, but that's, that's actually the, you know, and, and I think uh, it's in order really. Right. You know, let, them, right. let them challenge okay. it. All right, let's go to The Nation on Saturday. Uh, where the lead story says Tinubu visits Amechi Belu Umai Apabio in reconciliation move. Kogi Governor donates campaign office to flag bearer. Governors, ACF Chair, others hailed Tinubu's victory at, at primary, which, which is what we discussed, you know, and, and part of what we were saying uh, with Senator Gulewe. Now that he has become the flag bearer, I do not think. And, and Ashwa, you did say that those who didn't support my aspiration, I bear no grudge. Let everybody come under. Uh, we can't say one umbrella because umbrella is not the symbol of of, of APC. Yes, yeah, the wrong, the wrong <laughs> under point. The same, under the same roof and in the same vehicle, you know, in so order to achieve the thing. Under the same roof. In, interesting, a, a couple of interesting stories uh, on the cover of the nation. A six billion naira fraud. Monfa flouted court order, traveled to Dubai. That's the FCC. You know, on the case of the. Uh, Instagram enabled, shall we say, uh, 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 billionaire guy, you know, who uh, unfortunately has been tried, you know, you know, like hush puppy. But of course, we do not know the detail. Uh, we, we can He's not yes. been sentenced yet, yes. so he will have his day in court. But EFCC is saying that you flouted out, that you went to Dubai, you know, we will need to uh, deal with that. Um, Professor Shrinka is speaking here, uh, and he says, Oh, what church massacre was messaged to Akere Dolu? And you know, like we said, Akredolu has been very vocal and consistent in promoting the Amoteku uh, alternative and in saying that no, uh, Moridas are not welcome in the forest of the Southwest and, uh, uh, and in Ondo State in particular. So, for Professor Shinka is saying that this is a message, you know, to Governor Akredolu, and we just hope that yeah. the federal government will come to his aid in order to defeat evil. Get all the support you know, that he that can. Yeah, it's really been a very packed week, Steve. <laughs> very, very so interesting. Much. All right, and that brings us to the end of the show, of the morning show today. Thank you for watching and do stay safe. I'm Steve Ayorini. And I am Abby Owolawi. From our entire team here in Lagos, Nigeria, enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.